be sure to subscribe for more content. What is up, ladies and gents? Welcome to the Big BC Finance channel, and I hope you're having a very lovely day today. So in today's video, we're going to be talking all about Solana, what has happened to it recently, and where I think the price is going to go to in the near future. And as you may have seen in the thumbnail, we're going to be answering whether we think it's a good spot to be buying Solana now for the long term, since after all, we're 95% down from its all-time high. So if we ever get back there on Solana, that's a 20x on a top cryptocurrency. So we're going to be talking all about that. And of course, I'm going to be doing my technical analysis here on Solana as well. So be sure to stay tuned for all of that. If you do appreciate the daily analysis on this channel and you're one of the 88% of people who view my channel and are not yet subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. So without further ado, let's talk about what has happened to Solana. So of course, since we saw that FTX and Binance fiasco, we saw, we've saw we watched the price of Solana go down from a high of 38 just a few days ago to a low down here of $12, representing what is to be a near 70% drop, one easily the biggest loss of any top cryptocurrency. And things are looking a little bit shaky at the moment for Solana. You can see on the right here, for example, most of the cryptocurrencies are up from their yesterday's lows, but... Solana seems to be the exception here. We're hovering very, very close back to the $12.39 mark. And obviously the main issue with Solana is all the news surrounding FTX because of course, Sam held a lot of Solana. He was an early investor in Solana and therefore has a lot of the supply. And if he needs to liquidate it to cover his own debt, then that is going to be very bearish for the ecosystem. So this is why Solana dropped a lot more than most other cryptocurrencies. We have just seen an unstaking event as well. So a lot of Solana was unstaked from the validators as well. And I believe that number was around 13% of the whole supply of Solana. So, you know, people could have dumped that Solana. And that happened on this candle here. So just about an hour ago, and yet we're still not seeing major price action to represent people dumping their Solana. So, you know, there's still developments coming on that front. So we're not smooth sailing just yet, but it seems that the price has reacted better to what people anticipated that bad news would do. Because obviously, if 13% of the supply were to dump on the market right now, that should push the price down to around the $10 mark, which is coincidentally our next price target here on Solana. So I'll get to that in a second. But what we're seeing right now is Solana in this kind of downtrend right now. And of course, it's a very, very bearish downtrend and the price has been adhering to it. So you can see we had a slight fake pump here on Solana as the price went up, but then quickly came back down once again. And we've, ever since we've been in this very, very bearish downtrend, which is really, really painful for anyone who's long here on Solana. Of course, we're still in this downtrend at the moment, so nothing has changed. The price is still bearish, and we're seeing a lot of downwards momentum. If we get the MACD and the RSI up, and this will tell us how much momentum we've got in the downwards direction and whether it's starting to ease up, we can kind of see that the MACD line is starting to head back to the mean. So we're seeing downwards momentum dissipating a little bit. Of course, we had this nice little pump here on Solana. So of course, of course, we're seeing some people buy in at these prices, which is definitely a good sign. Of course, we're still well below the halfway line, the zero value here on the MACD. So technically speaking, this is still very bearish for Solana. And same with the RSI, the price is hugely oversold, which is a bearish sign. Of course, as you can see, the RSI line here in purple is well below the halfway line at a value of 50. So things on the RSI and the MACD are showing us that they're oversold, but we could be taking a turn for the better since the MACD line and the RSI are heading for the halfway line. So that's something to keep an eye on. Of course, in terms of chart patterns as well, what we do, I believe, kind of have is something that looks like some sort of triangle here. We do have the price wedged in between a line that looks kind of like this and Solana price bound by this long-term resistance that we have here. So of course, I'm keeping my eye on this right now. This is the one hour chart and I don't typically trade on smaller time frames. So I look at stuff on the one hour chart and what I'm seeing is a triangle that looks like this. So if we do break out from that triangle, it puts the price target at somewhere at around $17. And I do think it will hit that 50 hour moving average if we do break out of this triangle triangle as well. So, you know, that's going to happen in a few. The deadline for this triangle, if it were to happen, would be in a few hours. And likewise, if we break out to the downside, because a triangle, you know, can break out to the upside or the downside, if we do break out to the downside, that should put us at a price target of $11. But honestly, if we get to $11, I don't think there's anything stopping us until this $10 mark here, $9.91 to be specific. So very bearish stuff if we do break below. Of course, as a triangle, I'll be looking for any increase in volume and increase in momentum as we do break out of it. 
And it's just one of the chart patterns I'm looking at. The other one that I saw a little bit earlier on that's on my trading view is some sort of rising wedge that looks like this. So we've got two trend lines going in the same direction. So in this case, it's going in the bullish direction. And because they're both going in the bullish direction, we call this a rising wedge. And the implication of this is always bearish. And so what we have seen is some sort of breakdown below this rising wedge. So it looks like a respected pattern, but the ultimate price target is $12.39 right on our support line here. Now, so far this rising wedge has been respected. So what we could also expect to see is the price head down to this $12.39 mark. And if we get to the $12.39 and we start bouncing up, then that would be very interesting because I would be looking at several patterns from there on after. Of course, chart patterns are not perfect and should be accompanied with other things as well to make reliable trading decisions. But if we do get to $12.39, we could see this larger triangle, similar to the triangle I showed you before, but with this as our support line instead, at this purple line here. Or what, if, what we could also be seeing if we do manage to bounce up is some sort of double bottom as well. So if we get to $12.39, that would be a perfect double bottom in the sense that the price has got down to this level and bounced back up twice. So once in this region and now once in this region, if we do see it and what the implication of that could be, so let's say we do something like this. We complete that rising wedge that I've shown you a little bit earlier and we bounce off and we start to get to this line here, this very bearish trend line. And we managed to cross that two up to here. Then what we could be seeing is a double bottom. And of course, this is probably the most bullish scenario that I have for you guys. So we've got this line here, which is our neckline. We can extend that past and we can see that's a reasonable support in this level too. We've got this neckline. And if we get to the neckline on Solana so we get to $15.79 after bouncing from $12.39 and we've got a lot of momentum uh, and in the upwards direction then we could see a price target of around $20 and that would be a double bottom pattern there so if we come down to $12.39 again bounce back off reach the neckline and go past the neckline so we go above this green line here with a lot of momentum and a lot of green candles, then we should see a 27% pump. So this is something I'm really looking out for. This is a clear trade if we do see this double bottom here. So I'm looking out for this double bottom and I'm looking out for any triangle that's forming here as well. I'm also mindful that this rising wedge pattern could complete and we'll go back down to $12.39. And of course, needless to say, I'm looking at the news events for Solana as well. I'm looking at what FTX and Binance are saying. I'm following both the CEOs on Twitter. I'm following both the companies on Twitter. So if they do say anything, then I will be the first to know. And of course, anything they say could have a massive impact on the price of the crypto current of cryptos in general and in particular Solana as well. So really paying attention to what those two are saying and just what the news is saying in general as well. And any bad news could plunge the price of Solana further down to this 10 cents mark. Now, of course, looking at Bitcoin as well, because the Bitcoin is the tune of the whole crypto market. If Bitcoin continues to fall, then we can see Solana continue to fall as well. Looking at Bitcoin, we're holding the 16,200 level by a thread. Of course, of course, the other big thing we have today as well is that inflation rate data. So if that comes out better than expected, it's going to be coming out in about two hours from making this video. So I'm going to be checking that quite off. I'm going to be checking that when it comes out. But basically, if we have a better than expected inflation, so inflation is lower than what the forecast is, what the consensus is, then we should see Bitcoin break through this bearish trend line and we should see some bullish price action. So we should see the price being very volatile. So we could see something like this where the price is just going up and down very, very fast. But we should be able to break this bearish trend line. And the same would go for Solana. Again, if we get a very good inflation data report, we should see a lot of volatility that might look like this, but we could start heading in a more bullish direction. So that's something I'm mindful for as well. Of course, if the inflation rate data is bad, then Typically, we would be bullish, but at the same time, if we have a look at what Bitcoin did, I've already circled it here back in October's inflation rate data, and that was worse than expected, particularly with this with the core CPI data. We actually saw a massive dump, but the price of Bitcoin came back up and ended leveling off. So I do believe a worse than expected outcome is probably already somewhat priced into the cryptocurrency markets. It could plunge it further, but given the fact that, you know, the core CPI here was worse than expected, we actually saw Bitcoin tank then pump, then dump again back to the same level it was before that data came out. So, you know, by the same principle, if we do see worse than expected, we would see a dump. But I don't think I don't think after the dust has settled from that CPI data, it would do all too much for the Bitcoin price. So the same would the same would go for Solana as well. If we see worse than expected CPI data, again, a lot of volatility in this region, we might see the price continuing to dump. It may be a catalyst for the price of Solana to go down to this 10 cents region down here. I don't think it will be as bearish as most people think. We'll just see a lot of uh, volatility, in my opinion, and prices continuing to head further down. So that's something I'm also looking out for. And finally, let's 
let's get to talking about whether we're going to be investing long term here in Solana. Of course, as I said at the start, Solana is down around 95% from its all time high. Its all time high was at around $260 and now it's sitting at $14. And it used to be a top 10 cryptocurrency as well. So is so of all the top cryptocurrencies, this is by far the lowest any of them are from their all-time high. And we could potentially see generational wealth if we ever do get back to that all-time high. Now, I will say that I am a keen investor here in Solana. I've enjoyed the community. I've enjoyed the products that come out on Solana. And I do think Solana will get back to new highs at some point in the future. Of course, with Solana, you do have to have a multi-year time frame. If, you've got, if you need the money in a couple of months or even in a year's time, maybe Solana is not the best because it might take some time to recover. I do think this is generational wealth that we're looking at. I do think Solana is going to make a comeback. I can throw a lot of facts in this video, but I'm not going to, just to keep this video a little bit more concise. But it's probably one of the fastest blockchains. I believe it's able to handle probably the most transactions per second I could be corrected on that, but I've seen the fact that it's a lot faster and it's a lot cheaper than most other level one blockchains out there. So this is why I've always been bullish on Solana since 2021 when I first invested. And looking at Solana right now, if we just zoom out, if I get off the log scale, for example, we can see that we're literally dumped down to $13 here from the top at 256. And I just wanna show you what Ethereum looked like back in the day as well. So if I show you Ethereum back in 2018, you can see the high here was at around 1,449 and the low, just six months later, eight months later from Ethereum was around 95%. So of course we saw this massive pump in Ethereum. We saw a dump, we saw a second peak there. So this kind of reminds me of how Solana was back in March when we saw a pump from around 77 to 145. And then we've just seen this price action down here. Now, of course, it reminds me of the price action on Ethereum down here before finally dumping, as you can see, let me get rid of this volume actually. As you can see, we dumped here on Ethereum to put the nail in the coffin on November 2018, a whole 63%. And if you remember, this dump here was around 70% on Solana. And what happened next to Ethereum was probably magical for quite a lot of people at the time. We saw Ethereum do this rally here right after. Of course, if we take this low down here and we just go to the local top, in June 2019, so not even a year later, we saw a 362% pump. So that's about a 4.6x on your money. So, you know, if Solana follows the same path by June 2023, we could see $50, $60 Solana. Now, of course, the conditions in 2019 are slightly different to how they are now. But if we take this as a parable, for example, and just drag the time over a couple of years, you can see Ethereum finally got to, what was it, 4,800 from a low of $84, and that represents the 65X on your money. So Ethereum from the low around about this time, so November 2018, exactly four years ago, from Ethereum's low of $84 to 4,800, 50, 65X. So, you know, if Solana is able to follow the same path as Ethereum and make new all-time highs, then we could see similar returns. Now, now will Solana follow Ethereum's path? That really just depends on how everything plays out. I do believe they have a lot going for Solana. Obviously, if you want to know more about it and do your own research into Solana and everything, but they do believe they're positioned very, very well to be one of the top blockchains in the next bull run. And of course, they've just announced a partnership with Google, which is why we saw a small pump that we did here to 38 in Solana before crashing. In my opinion, it has a very bright future. So it may take a while to get there. We're obviously in economic troubles as we speak. Solana, nothing's going to flourish while the economy is bad. But if you have a multi-year time horizon, then just look at Ethereum from 2018 as a good example as to what can happen. Am I buying for the for the long term here on Solana? The answer is yes. Do I think we could go low on Solana? The answer is of course. I do think we could go a lot lower. I think we could hit $0.10 cents, uh, $10 here on Solana. And if we're not even able to hold that level, I do think we could go down to 3 or $4 even on Solana. So we could drop quite a bit. But if you've got a multi-year investment horizon and you don't mind seeing your portfolio go down by about half or even three quarters in that process then i do think we could see some very very strong gains from here a couple of years out so short term things are looking kind of halfway bullish halfway bearish you know we kind of kind we've kind of consolidated in this region now uh 
on the price we found a temporary level where we're sat at just above 12 dollars here on solana but we could definitely drop further we've got some big news coming out as well with the inflation rate data we've got some more things that still need to clear up with ftx with how much sam is going how much solana sam is going to dump so you know we could definitely go down further in the short term i've shown you the patterns that i'm looking for in the short term as well and obviously in the longer term so i'm talking multiple multiple years i'm very very bullish here on solana so that's all i have to say in this video thank you so so much for watching do let me know in the comments if you have any questions if you have anything you want to say any feedback otherwise thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video